Greetings and welcome to Satisfactory. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up automatic transport of goods with off-road vehicles and use the autopilot function. Now, the first thing you need to do is research the tier three technology called coal power. With that, you will get access to tractors and truck stations. All right, let's build our stations first. Um, and well, let's look at materials first. What we're going to do is go here and uh, choose the vehicles tab. We want to make one tractor. So let's put that in our to do list and also two truck stations because you're going to need a, a loading station and an unloading station. All right, as you see, I have already stuff set up, but for the purposes of the tutorial, I will just build it all again. Okay, so we can build all the things. We have the stuff in our inventory to make sure that we have everything ready. So what we're gonna do is this is our factory and this is going to be the unloading station. Now we're going to be transporting coal in this route, but you can transport anything like copper or iron ore or limestone or sulfur or any of the other things that we found in the world as uh, items that are collectible. Okay, so let's press uh, Q and build our truck station and let's see we can go to a higher vantage point which is um, usually better you can build it on top of a rock or let's go on top of this splitter here real quick and you'll want to have the um, you see where the inputs and outputs go you want to have that toward your factory and the other part away from your factory because that's the part that's going to be hosting the vehicle. The vehicle is going to drive in this area and when I put this thing down as you've noticed there is a huge bounding box on the front of this. You can see the box over there um, and that's where the vehicle needs to come in to deliver the goods. Okay so here we've gotten it a little bit off of our uh, <laughs> off the area we wanted to but it's okay um, what we want to do is we want to set up this station for unloading so we're going to take the unloading box and uh, you can sort the inventory notice that there's a fuel area here we can fuel the truck as well so let's see if this uh, will connect via conveyor belt or if we need to move it ah that's perfect okay great so we have this is the unloading uh, thing you can see how the conveyor belt is coming from this and going into the splitter now let's see we can put another splitter on another side here so for example here to go into this input area which is for the fuel you see the fuel tanks here that is where you put fuel or you can put biofuel in here or anything else that counts as fuel for the trucks um, in this case we can go ahead and remove this belt here let's see what we can do here is F to get rid of this and put another splitter here which is this one and all right connect that up so that this connects to the fueling part this belt will automatically deliver fuel into the fueling section of the station. You can see it here, but it's not working. And that's because the station does need power. So let's connect a power line from here to the nearest power pole, which probably I should make one closer, but this will do for now. Um, and that will put it into the fueling tank. Now do be aware that the truck station does require quite a lot of power. I don't see that it has it up here, but it does uh, control consume a significant amount of power from the network. Uh, anyway, the next thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have power lines going all the way to your destination. Now notice that I have placed them way off the clear part of the pathway. You can make sure, and if you put them by rocky parts, places where you're not gonna drive, um, that's a good place to put them so that you're not inhibited while driving. I've arrived at our destination area, and as you will see, I've taken the liberty of setting up coal production. It's way over there on that uh, that sort of island in the sky over there, and we're belting it in over here so that we can pick it up via the next station. So let's go ahead and build that station right now. Uh, we'll go to Q and pick vehicles, truck station, and just make sure that it can fit where we want it to fit. We want to have a place where we can park this, uh, park the truck and not be too close to the belt over there. Okay, this seems okay. OK, 
Okay, let's do this. Ah, yes, this is perfect. And again, we have the same kind of situation where we have, this is the output thing. So we're not gonna use the output thing. We actually want to use the input thing, Imajingi. So let's go ahead and build a splitter because we wanna put part of it in the output or put part of it in the input and then part of it, oopsies, uh, in the uh, fueling section, just like we did at the base. Okay, so let's get this here. We'll take this one can go, that's the fueling right near the fuel tank, as you see. And this one can go over here. And that is uh, the input. What's going to fill up this, uh, the inventory storage space of the station. Again, this needs to be powered. So let's get our power line connected here. There we are. And this will start filling up with fuel. All right, there it goes. Very nice. Now we can place down our tractor vehicle, which is right here under the vehicles. And we get an adorable little truck. And as you see, the uh, the hook part is on the front of the vehicle. And there's like a toolbox in the back of the vehicle. So we're gonna place it right underneath the station. All right, and press Q to clear our inventory. You can see this is the material being dropped into the truck. Now we can press E to open the workbench and that will also allow us to access the vehicle. You can craft things here, which is a really nice portable crafting station, but we're gonna click on the vehicle tab and you'll see when it dumps the contents of the inventory of the truck station, it will put it just into the inventory of the vehicle and it will continue fueling the fuel tank. But the drop of inventory is a one-time thing. Okay, let's get out of here and let's go ahead and start our uh, <laughs> our autopilot recording. So. Uh, we were, we're going to go, and I think this actually might be a very good place to start. So press C to open the radial menu here. And what we want to do is if you've already tried to record something and it wasn't successful, you're going to want a clear path. Okay, so just press C and let go on C. Um, but if not, then let's just go ahead and start the recording. You do not want to enable the autopilot just yet. You do that after you have completed the recording. So let's go ahead and choose start recording. And we're going to go. All right. Now you don't actually have to stop underneath the stations. You can um, just go right through and the game knows that you're entering a station and will stop there for you. As you're going along, you're gonna wanna go as fast as possible for the most efficient um, transport speed. But when, you, when you're approaching a station, you may want to slow down just a bit, but you see the crane has already come out to reach out for stuff. Uh, and you can see the node points on the ground here. So I'm gonna, uh, well, we can go over the same ones, it's fine, because we're probably only gonna have one vehicle for this. Uh, and we wanna go to the, the nearest node uh, and then kind of land in a similar spot here. But I think we can just stop here, press C and say finish recording. Now, um, as you are doing this, you can go ahead and enable the autopilot. And once you hop out of the vehicle, it will start to go on its own. So let's watch it go. Woohoo, there it goes. And it's getting stuff. And it's gonna go ahead and drop everything in. We'll go ahead and follow the vehicle back. Now, if you decide you have too many nodes or you have stopped too much, for example, you can actually delete them. But be careful when you do so because they may cause some unintended effects. Let's go back to um, the ones over here at the um, loading station. And sometimes you'll see several arrows clumped up on each other. And that usually indicates a change of speed or going slow or kind of stopping. Um, but you can select them by walking up to one of them. And it says E to edit this node. And you can say you can delete the node to edit the path of the vehicle. But like I said, be careful because if there are several slowing down nodes and you don't take care of them, then <laughs> your truck will kind of go in a wonky way and will try to autocorrect itself to get back to the beginning of uh, its path. Aha, there we go. And let's see, is it actually getting stuff? Let's see, open the workbench vehicle. Yes, it has 36 coal. And we can quickly run over to the factory and we will um, make sure that it's actually putting stuff into the other station. 
All right, I just saw the truck go by with plenty of material or, well, something. Um, and yes, it is dropping stuff off in here because this is an unloading station. So anyway, um, that is how to make it work. I hope you have fun with your trucks and your factories. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.